Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton, along with the Rubin Reports, Dave Rubin, join me now. All right, guys, we don't have a lot of time. Tom, uh, you know I love you. You get information from that Congress can't get all the time because you sue everybody. Let's talk about the, the big tech, uh, Section 230. For some reason, they get protected. What, what can we do about their protection? It, the law should be reformed because the courts are misinterpreting it to allow them to engage in uh, bad faith, discriminatory activity and censorship against conservatives. They just locked me out of Twitter uh, yesterday after I posted a tweet that they had previously found to be not in violation of their rules. It relates to uh, uh, the, uh, the HCQ drug. Completely irrelevant, and they tell me I can't go back on for at least seven days. This is a pretextual way of getting at a leading conservative. And it's not about just censoring people for saying the wrong things. They don't want us to be on the Internet everywhere, anywhere. So going over the parlor may work for some right. time. But I guarantee you, uh, or I, I, I predict, unfortunately, that parlor won't be around in a few weeks, the, the way things are going. It isn't. It isn't. It isn't. They, they suspended it today. Go ahead, Dave. Take it. Yeah, Judge, it's just in the Dave. last few minutes that it's not just Apple, it's not just Apple yeah. and Google Play that took them off their stores. Now the Amazon servers have gone down for Parler, so they're down for about a week. Look, we just have to keep fighting. You know, you may remember the, the Red Wedding in Game of Thrones when they took out about half yeah. the characters. Well, we're seeing a Red Wedding of, yeah. of social media right now. They are trying to take out every counter voice. You know I started Locals.com. We build digital homes for creators. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're about to launch on there, and, and Greg Gutfeld's on there, and Scott Adams, right. and a whole bunch of other great people. We're trying to give people mm -hmm. tools so that you can create a type of Internet that's better for you. That's what I'm doing. People can check it out at RubenReport.com. But we're not, we're not perfect. We're not safe. We know the knives are out for everybody. And I hate to say it, but a whole bunch of us, we told you this was coming. And if, and if they take out Trump the way they have systematically knocked him off all of these things, this does not matter what you think about Trump. It doesn't matter what you think about the last couple of days on Capitol Hill. They're showing you, hey, we can come for anybody and everyone should be standing up and yeah, we're of coming course for we're you. seeing the media cheer it on because they you know orange yep. man bad yeah I mean, the yeah and you know the at position. least we take responsibility for what we do go ahead tom yeah i mean that that violence mm -hmm. was inexcusable and the, but the left has now said if you oppose their policies that's the equivalent of violence and you have to be removed if you raise questions about election integrity you can't be on the internet if you raise questions about the lockdowns you can't be on the internet so opposing policy is a reason for you to be removed by these uh, big tech companies. Section 230, it never envisioned that taking place. It doesn't allow for it. It doesn't need to be changed. It needs to be enforced. And the FTC needs to go after these companies for engaging in business fraud, for telling the public they're removing people for one reason, when in fact they're removing them for another. Politics. Yeah, but I, 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 I hate to tell well, you guys that, that between that's Biden and the Democrats controlling the Senate and everything else, yeah, we're in a lot of trouble, guys. Like, we, everyone needs to start figuring out off-ramps for the big social media things right now. They're watching this right now. There's no doubt that someone at Facebook and someone at Twitter and the rest of it are, are watching these shows. They're figuring out how can we get everybody else. This was coordinated. We all know it. And we're sitting there going, oh, can somebody save us? Nobody's coming to save us, guys. Like, th this really is it. We can well, save we use the I mean, mail. Congress so can if you pass want, a law. It's not that difficult. Watch, we use the U.S. Postal Service still. That's why. Because the Internet is not safe for any conservatives in terms of being protected from censorship, no matter where you are. So what did you say we use? We use the mail. Tom? <laughs> I mean, it may be that we the just mail. have to communicate the old-fashioned way. <laughs> The U.S. I Postal don't know. Service. I don't know. Dave Rubin has a good idea. Dave Rubin has a good idea with Lowe's. You know what, Judge? Anyway, gentlemen, good to have you both on. Yeah, go. Go ahead. Look, Dave. look David beat Goliath, right? Like, the, the little guy can beat the big guy. These things seem huge. They seem all-encompassing. They seem ubiquitous and like we can never escape them. All but right. they will destroy we'll themselves. Fighting. And we just need to build some things in the meantime. Yeah. We hope.
If you're looking for more honest and thoughtful conversations about politics instead of nonstop yelling, check out our politics playlist. And if you want to watch full interviews on a variety of topics, watch our full episode playlist all right over here. And to get notified of all future videos, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell.